What's up guys, it's Java here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be comparing three different mice at three different price ranges. So the first one, the most expensive at $50, the Glorious Model O. Like I said, it's $50, then you pay for shipping. But uh, it's a really nice mouse. It's a light mouse. I'm not going to go too much into detail. I'm mainly just going to be comparing, seeing, you know, if you can get a good mouse for cheap. The second most expensive one is the Logitech G402. Now, this was actually the second mouse that I ever got, and this is also a very good mouse. But this one is slightly cheaper. So if you have a price range of $30, you know, you have $30 saved up, you know, you can get this mouse. And the third mouse from Sunt. It's a no-name brand. Basically, it's not a common brand. Uh, it's a brand called Sunt, and I don't know the actual model because it's in, like, Chinese or something. But this is a $50 mouse. It's a good mouse, okay? It's a good mouse for the price. It's my first mouse ever. It's a great mouse. And, yeah, let's get into comparing them and seeing which is best for the price. I will say that this is video is mainly targeted towards Minecraft players. Just because in this video I'm going to be talking about, you know, butterfly clicking and jitter clicking with this mouse and how those things work. Okay, and with that last disclaimer, let's go ahead and switch on the RGB. Alright, so as you can see, kicking it off on the left side, you can see the glorious Model O. It has pretty good RGB, actually. It has multiple different settings you can shuffle through by clicking a few buttons, but you'll be able to see that with the manual that comes with it if you do end up deciding to get this mouse. And, yeah, it's pretty basic. Lots of rainbow stuff. I would like to mention this mouse also comes in black. I just chose white because my keyboard's white. But, yeah, it's just rainbow RGB. Nothing too special. But, I'd say it's very special compared to the G402. Because the G402 is literally just like a few lights. And some of them I had to actually go into settings and make them stay on. So, you have the Logitech symbol uh lit up with blue it looks like like white in this video it's actually blue and that's literally all you can say with it it's pretty 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 lame so if you wanted to use this mouse for work too you know it wouldn't be too flashy for your co-workers to be like you're a gamer um but and then yeah that's that's basically that one and then on the far right you basically just have a breathing pattern uh shuffling between a few different colors you know uh pink purple blue red but yeah that's pretty much it it's it looks pretty good too but it's kind of just flashing and you can't really change anything in settings so it's kind of boring okay so starting off with the model o it's pretty simple i mean not much to say about it okay first thing i gotta say is i've heard this thing butterfly clicks like 20 cps like easy so i'm assuming it'd be really good for bridging bridging up now, personally, I use a Mac, and they don't make software for Apple products, and I don't have Windows installed because I'm broke, and I don't have enough money to buy Windows for Mac or whatever, uh, not even Windows Home. Um, so, I mean, it worked. It works, but I haven't been able to test it. Just know that it works good. There's another video for it if you want. Okay, so next up, the G402 by Logitech. The focus and the hand cam was not working, but anyways, uh, yeah, so this, this mouse was my second mouse. I got it because I wanted to learn how to jitter click, ended up butterfly clicking with it. Um, but it, oh, it's such a great mouse. It's kind of on the heavier side, but for butterfly clicking, this is the best mouse. I can tell you that it works great. It works so good. We're talking like 14, maybe, nah, I'm, I'm going to say maybe 16 to 18 CPS easy butterfly clicking this. It double clicks really good. So yeah. All right, next up, the $15 mouse by Sunt. Again, it's not really a known brand, but the butterfly clicking surprisingly works very well. I've actually been using this mouse a lot lately because the G402 is not easy to butterfly click the left click. So I've been kind of just using this one because the left click is open. There's no buttons on the side. And that is a downside to the G402 is that it's hard to 
left uh butterfly click the left click just because there's buttons on the side if you don't butterfly click left click i mean then it'll work great but yeah nothing more to say about this mouse other than the fact that it works really good for butterfly clicking no problems here i mean an easy easy 16 cps that's verified yeah i've i've looked at it easily 16 sometimes 17 cps that's it okay so next up what are the cons of these mice now i'm going to start off with the most expensive honestly i'm not gonna lie lots of these have very few cons so let's go ahead and start it off con number one with the model o if you're using a mac you have no software for it so you can't turn down the debounce time so that butterfly clicking actually works and you also can't adjust the lighting to an extent there are some buttons if you press them all at one time it'll kind of cycle through all the lighting settings but i mean other than if you just like heavy mice that's all i can think about for the model o it's a really nice looking my mouse it's really sleek i will say it's not the most comfortable mouse in the world like it doesn't really fit your hand but at the same time if you're someone who shifts positions a lot I mean, it'll work great. It's a great mouse for butterfly clicking. The buttons, especially the right click, are kind of stiff. So jitter clicking is not going to work incredibly good. Uh, that is one con about, or another con about the Model O. Okay, so next up, I'm going to be talking about the con of the G402 by Logitech. I'd say the main thing with this one is just the left click you cannot butterfly click the left click if you butterfly click left click or maybe you don't even butterfly click at all It'd be a great mouse another thing is if you have small hands this may not be a super comfortable mouse for you it's not exactly the comfiest mouse in the world for people with small hands but if you have the right size hands like pretty big hands it is a very comfortable mouse you know it kind of molds to your the shape of your hand uh has a rest so that your finger isn't hitting the table has a ton of buttons on the side that's a nice thing it has in total it has five side buttons um if you change the dpi buttons to actual buttons which is the first thing i did once i got the software um and yeah it works it's a great mouse um again i say the thing with a left click if you butterfly click a left click no problem uh i mean big problem <laughs> it's just gonna be a little bit harder um also if you jitter click i mean this is kind of just a good mouse for somebody who butterfly clicks right click and regular clicks left click because i mean it has really stiff buttons like really stiff and it's not just the left and right click it's like the scroll wheel button the dpi buttons the side buttons are just really really ah oh, tactile and it's really nice Unless you're trying to jitter click. And that's my biggest problem with it. I mean, there's not much else to say. It's a comfortable mouse. It's pretty heavy. So if you don't like that, I mean, it's heavy. But yeah, let's move on to the next mouse. Okay, next up, the Chinese mouse, Sunt. So let's talk about the cons of this mouse. You'd be surprised how few yet how many it has. I'd say the first thing is, is the side buttons are kind of weak and chintzy. They just kind of make a weird noise. Like, listen, they're really rattly. It's just, it's, it's pretty awful. Uh, yeah, I'd say that's the worst thing about it. The, none of the buttons are very nice. Uh, they're just kind of, I mean, it's a cheap mouse. So what do you expect? But they're not very tactile. They're kind of stiff. I would say they're not super stiff as much as the other ones, but they're still not very good for jitter clicking just because they're still so just, uh, hard. But if you butterfly click left and right click and you have a $5 mouse and you want to upgrade and you have 15 bucks, sadly, this mouse is out of stock right now. But when it comes back into stock, you should get this mouse. I, okay, here's another con. Scroll wheel is really light. Uh, sensor is not perfect, but I mean, who can see the difference between an optical sensor and a really good laser sensor? Um, okay, it has this weird rubber coating on the outside of it, uh, that 
it's just kind of weird and it gets sticky pretty easily so you have to clean it a lot but i mean other than that it, there's not much of a problem with it it's a great little mouse it's kind of heavy if you like lighter mice go with another mouse but it, it, it's a good mice mouse ah! why can't i talk all right guys well that's basically the end of the video if you made it this far and you're still wondering which mouse should I get out of these three if you only had these three as options. So, number one, choose which one is in your price range. They're all great mice, but then consider these things. None of them are going to be very good for jitter clicking. If you were choosing one for jitter clicking, it'd probably be the G402 just because it's a lot more tactile. The other ones, especially the $15 one, has kind of mushy buttons. Um... If you're aiming for butterfly clicking and a light mouse, definitely go the Model O. And if you don't want a light mouse, if you've never tried one before, you should still try it because it's a really nice mouse. I was honestly surprised. I never thought I would like a light mouse. But yeah, if you're looking for a comfortable mouse, I would go for the G402. Uh, it's great for butterfly clicking on the right click and the left click is a little bit harder too, but it still works. Um, yeah, I'd go, yeah, uh, this $15 one is a great mouse if you don't have the money. Uh, again, you can butterfly click and everything you'd need to on this one. And it would work for, uh, jitter clicking, just not as good as you might think. But yeah, that's, that's the end of the video. If you have any more questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button because I'm posting videos every single week, maybe more. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.